minutes. Thank you very much. The CEO of the Players Association. Let's go out to Shelley now. She's with our next guest. Warwick Kappa here with me, and I've got your shorts ready, mate. Thanks, Thanks Shelley. Well. They're fantastic, but they're a bit too big. I like the size twos. What a great napkin. This is Warwick Kappa, the lean, lean inside machine, blonde hair, blue eyed, ready for takeoff for the Mangrove Footy Show. Coming to you live. One or two metre start. Oh, look at that! A Kepa! Well, Gilly, he certainly was one of the great characters of the game that could play a little bit as well. Please welcome Maury Kepa to Mangor! <laughs> Welcome, Warren. <laughs> How are you, boys? Yeah, we're going. Over the footage, I was excited myself. Yes. Kiappa! Ew, beauty! Now, I must 25 say. 25 years. Never stopped, did it? That's the best jacket we've had on the show. It was the birthday uh, last week, so I thought I'd spoil myself. <laughs> now, Warren, let's go back to your career. And it was a great career. You kicked plenty of goals. But when you were a young fella, did you aspire to play AFL football? Was that your dream to do that? <laughs> well, I wanted to be a rock star. <laughs> That's not a bad question. Uh, I wanted to be a rock star, really. Yeah. I love music. I love Kiss and Bon Jovi. And as you can see, a very handsome man. Um, modest. After that failed, I actually had a number one record back in 85. Yes. Could only take what's mine. Yep. That sold uh, 1.6 million copies. I bought 1.4 million me and myself. <laughs> <laughs> to be serious, I did love football when I was eight years of age. Yeah. So you always wanted to play in the big time? Yeah, I was lucky enough to play with the great David Reese jones mm. when I was eight and a half. Oh. We actually won 15 best and fairest between us in six years. And he won 14. Under Even though five were ever cricket. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a trophy. Now, I now, didn't laugh either. <laughs> now, Warwick, when you, when you started off at playing <laughs> AFL football, who was your mentor? Who, who sort of took you under the wing? Did somebody take you under the wing? or? Yeah, probably your father. Yeah. He was, um, he was great. He was great. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Are they, try are they trying, to be, are they trying there, to be funny? <laughs> Jerry Drew. He got excited. Nah. Nah, my father loved football. He played with Fitzroy, actually. Fitzroy seconds. Okay, yeah. Before he broke his leg. And um, he took me to all the games. And I started at eight, eight years of age. And I got drafted at, at 16. He's a big fan of the show, too, I believe. I must say hello, Wally. G'day, Wall. Loves the footy show. Good. Our footy show. He loves this one. Not the footy show. He thinks the best. Yeah. 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 He, had a, he, he had a bit of heart trouble last week, so it's good to see he's still kicking. Oh, Wally Kappa. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, talking about kicking, good to see you still kicking, Warwick. It's great to, to have you on the show, but look, me and you've got a couple of things in common. You don't know this. You're cat related. No, yes. no. <laughs> no. We've both got great suntans. No. The, the first Must thing, the water. No, the first thing in common we've had is me and you actually played against each other in 1987. I played for the NTFL versus Sydney Swans. We did too. And, and we beat you, and it was up in Darwin. I remember that. You were punching heads and I was sitting on heads. No, no, no. <laughs> that was no, you! No. Nah. I know you! No, I was getting it out, the, out on the wing and I was hitting <laughs> Kaji Dunn on the chest. Yeah. Oh, anyway, anyway. I kicked seven. Yeah, I remember the game. No, yeah. and another thing you don't know is the um, Mr Edelston. Yeah. Uh, his former wife, Leanne. I used to go to high school with her in Alice Springs. I was in oh, year right. eight and she, she was, was in, bad, year, so and she's she? in year 12. She I That's can't right. tell you any stories, but... <laughs> I'll tell you a few stories. No, no, I don't want to know. I don't She's had that much plastic surgery no. when she cries, the tears run down her back. No, I don't want to know, no. She's she a ripper. No, no, but... I do love her. <laughs> but listen, I know this is probably a silly question, but did you enjoy you, being the face of Sydney Swans and Brisbane Bears? What? I said again? The face. Did you I, like I being loved the it. face? I was the face and the shorts. <laughs> no, but seriously, you brought a lot of people through the gates. Yeah, it was um, champagne football back in the 80s, and... I was actually the first instigated. I instigated all the fame and the, um, fortune, yeah. and um, probably the first marketable football, the Trailblazer. Well, we'll, we'll keep going with these stupid questions. I mean, <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> well, I can tell you the sense you can run the way you're dressed. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> I told you to give me. Back Ronnie, that take jacket. your mask off. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing one. He's trying to be funny. Look. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me a turn. I'll be uh, funny. Yeah, I was in. Okay. Yeah, I was in Dad's bags when you were in Baghdad. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, good <buddy. laughs> Oh. Good mate of mine, Matty Gray, he's, your, he's, he's one of my good mates, he's your manager. Now, uh, we're talking about your shorts, you're, you're rolling with your shorts, Eddie Betts wears triple XL. Oh, you how wear, big are they? Yeah, mm. but you wear triple X smalls, did you ever have any problems with chafe? Good question. Was he related to you? I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> the first game of league football in front of 75,000, I had baggy shorts on, I didn't feel comfortable, yeah. and black boots, it wasn't me, and the hair wasn't blonde enough, to be serious. <laughs> Greg Williams gave me a pass around the wing. He won two, Brownlow should have won three, by the way. Yeah. Went down to put, pick the ball up. Instead of one ball being there, there were three balls. <laughs> 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 
There was two purple ones and a red cherry. And I thought, well, after this, it's going to be Warwick Cap of Heaven. So the song, so I bought the song out. Guess what it's called? Oh, we hate you, Warwick Capper. Yes, we do. We hate the long blonde locks. We hate those tussles in your socks. We even hate the doctor. That's not 1.7 million. 1.4 were homosexuals. <laughs> Other 300,000 hated me guts. But it got me out there. It was champagne football. Good question, now, Ronnie. Yeah, well, I'm getting another question for you. you what about Death Clothing? You've new sponsor. You've done a many trades. I mean, what's the other one? Death Clothing. I've heard you got a little whisper going around. Mm. You're going to open a little... Uh, I love the coffees and the cafes. And uh, he loves his short black. I love my flat white. Um, you're opening a little uh, cafe called Cappuccino, is it? It's not little, it's actually big. It's a million well, dollar cafe. I thought it was little. No, nothing small okay. in my life, mate. Well, we'll keep going. Like yourself. So is, is like, it... like yourself. <laughs> right. It's called Cappuccinos, and it's <laughs> opening in October, thanks to me and Peter. It's a million dollar cafe. <laughs> and everyone in this footy show gets free coffee because we love you. Oh. It's getting there. Where's, in September, October. Where's, what do you think of football now these days compared to when you played? Uh, well, the intensity, the speed of it all? What do you, what, what's your, what's I do your about 120 shows a year in Australia. Yep. I do all the country towns. Because they pay the most. Um, <laughs> but um, good question. The game is getting too stereotyped now. They go backwards, they go forwards. I think that the common family of two kids and two adults are getting ripped off. 160 bucks out of the footy. Back in the 80s, it was 15, 10, 15, 20 dollars. It's just too much. And I don't think um, families are getting bad money. So sure. if we've uh, we've read about things you've done since footy. You've done the stop go thing. We just heard you're a voiceover at Dracula's up in Queensland. Well, that was 30 years ago, mate. Yeah, but you've, I was doing ten night, I was doing ten nightclubs a week when you were about four, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was a trailblazer. They, they tell me uh, they tell me now you're renting your house out. So you actually rent it out over a weekend. You stay in your apartment while people yeah. rent it out. Well, I got this right? idea from um, Pamela Anderson, speaking the states, and I thought, well, I'm. Probably as big as her here. Because <laughs> I actually taught Colin, Colin and I how to sing and dance. So you're actually there. You're actually there. So how does, that, how does that work? Yeah. Do they sleep in your bed? Do you sleep with them? Yeah, well, I... <laughs> well that can be arranged. It's a, it's a nice looking couple. <laughs> I'm not a swinger, but I'll have a crack. <laughs> they come to my place for a small fee of $5,000, which they can book on warwickhabit.net. They can stay in the penthouse on the Gold Coast or the South Yarra Mansion. They can pick, right? I've done quite well, as you know. Um, and they get to stay at my place for two nights. They go for a ride in the Ferrari. They get to look at my 65 photos of myself on the wall. It's just, <laughs> just wore a cap of um, wallpaper. Just beautiful stuff, because I've achieved a fair bit in football. <laughs> and then, uh, actually, next year, then, I've got a movie coming out. So I'll What's the movie? let you know about that one soon. I can't spill. tell you yet. Let's just hold it there, show. Let's go to the footy. Let's go to our let's next game. Sydney taking on Collingwood. It is a footy show here. And let's go have a look at the me. Sydney Swans, Kelly. Side, out the side's lamb for the Collingwood Magpies. They had a great win. They don't need to make any choices, but Ronnie, you know what? Warwick's better than you. <laughs> okay, well, my honesty. <laughs> Ronnie, <laughs> serious question you've actually thrown up, Gilly. What was the question? It was uh, Ronnie, the, the second and third tier players at Sydney Swans this year have been great. Luke Parker, Rampay, Lamb, these sorts of guys. They've really stood up, and uh, I reckon they're a huge threat again come finals time. Certainly, I reckon they're going to play in the grand final. In my They've opinion. got actually a good mixture at the moment, Sydney Swans, haven't they, Cap? And I don't know if you watch many of the games, but uh, you know, we talked about Goodsy coming back in the side. And, uh, They've got some great players, haven't some they? Great, some great players. Lewis Jett is another we mentioned, but this, this kid here, Kieran Jack. I love him. He's, 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 yeah, his father used to play uh, rugby league. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And his brother's playing too. And um, what about Tippett? He's added something to the forward line, well, which is great. Gilbert six did mention that. He's kicked six, and uh, he's been a fo focal point up there. He's not worried, Kappa, but he's handy. He's, uh, <laughs> he doesn't wear them tight shorts. And has the money's on. I can't believe it. <laughs> Duck, let's <laughs> talk about Collingwood and their midfielders. Pendlebury, Swan, Ball. Uh, they're getting a few games together now. They're starting to look a bit dangerous, starting to get a bit of drive in the middle. I need to have some uh, some midfield spread on the weekend and give Cloak and those guys they a bit are, of option to kick a few goals. Probably last week was their most uh, consistent performance over a whole game. They've They've been a little bit up and down, but they're coming up against the best side in the competition. And uh, as the boys just said before, they're reliant. They don't rely on any one player. Collingwood will have to be at their best. In saying that, though, Collingwood have got a very, very good record against Sydney mm. at ANZ Stadium. Yep. OK. Yeah, well, Chrissy, the last time they met, Swans actually beat them by 47 points. So they, mm. so they do well. Their forward line, Cloak, good to see him kick some goals last week because he's been struggling all year. Whether they want to admit it or not, their forward is the key for Collingwood to go to that next level. Well, they need someone to bob up with him. Uh, they can't just be one-dimensional and just focus on him all the time. They've got to have someone else that bobs up, whether it's a midfielder. Uh, Reed, you know, Reed was good last yeah, week. Yeah, Reed, Reed was good last week, and that's what helped them out. But, uh, yeah. you know, I, I think at the moment, with 
the Swans have been the number one contested ball uh, winning team in the competition. They're going to be a hard team to go up against. I think, to be honest, they could have uh, Andrew Cracker. Could slot back in there nicely. <laughs> Just add something else. I made of mine, my salad, Andrew. <laughs> okay. And I'm hoping he gets back in next week. All right, well, let's get some tips, Duck, <laughs> shall we? To be honest. Sydney or Collingwood? <laughs> um, I'm going with uh, Sydney at home. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, uh, the Swans, too tough. Yeah. Ronnie. Um, I reckon tight one, Collingwood might just get Swans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go Swans by 15 points, thanks to Cappuccinos and Hampton Rovers. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, um, my old mate over there? I think, do you mean? Or yeah, well, okay. Okay. Yeah. I think Sydney, cool. Warwick, for sure. <laughs> Sydney, at home. Oh, well, look, I reckon Collingwood will get in the head of themselves after last week. This will be a big test for them. This is going to prove whether they're going to be there or thereabouts. Sydney for mine. OK. Yeah. Duck, what's the word around town this week? Well, the word around town, I, I knew you were different, Warwick. I didn't think you were that different. But um, I, uh, I'm, I have to eat humble pie. About uh, four or five weeks ago on this show, I said that uh, Richmond were pretenders. Yes. Um, they, hadn't beaten, they hadn't beaten anyone in the top eight other than Port Adelaide. They are now contenders. They have uh, beaten... We love the Tigers. They're going yeah. right. Yeah. So you're you're apologising to I'm, the Tiger well, faithful well, because well, they went berserk on Facebook, I'm, Twitter. I'm, I'm, prepared to, I'm prepared to say now that Richmond are deserving finalists. They'll play finals footy and good luck. They've uh, deserved what, what, it. They've beaten a couple of sides the last three He wants three to weeks. go down Bridge Road again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, wa he wants the free coffee in Bridge Road. No, I know all these I'm, tricks. I'm prepared to admit when I was... Uh, I'd made a mistake in terms of what they could have done, but at yeah. that particular time they hadn't beaten anyone. That's probably a fair, fair all right, we'll they get him we'll, we'll, we'll get him in the Tigers jump the next week. Then. Yeah. Yeah. We will. Yeah. Let's go to our next game. Gilly Carlton taking on the Bulldogs Saturday at the Docklands. <laughs> Should be an interesting game, Gillian. A few changes for the Blues. Yeah, good to see Wade there with Warnock and Menzel and Beats from the other side. Carrazos with a calf. Cruises, calf. Lucas and Robinson. He's been omitted. That's unbelievable. For the Bullies, Austin Jones, Wood. Out the side, Talia Hunter. has been rested in McRae. Bullies were terrific last week. They were. Did you go to the game? No, but I watched every bit of it <laughs> <laughs> on TV. Chris Perry, the Irishman at half back there, has been fantastic for Carlton uh, this season. He's really come of age. You know? Kicked three goals last week uh, off half back. Mm. Uh, he's got a raking left foot boot on him uh, and has got a turn of speed. A uh, number of times he got around Fremantle players, as we see on the overlay. That's he was right just foot. able to run forward and uh, kick goals off half back flank. You always like an attacking backman. Uh, you know, no, just not to be a dour defender and be one dimensional. He's got some creativity in his game. Duck, last week the yep. Bulldogs, they showed a little bit. For about 15 weeks, they've been going backwards, sideways turning the ball over. If you notice the last three weeks, they've been running forward of the play. They've been playing that free-flowing footy, which they've been renowned for the last decade. Jared Grant starting to show a bit. And what about Roughhead? Because you give Roughhead a bit of a... Rough, Roughhead got six goals kicked on him against Tippett, but if it was anyone else, Tippett would have kicked 12. I, <laughs> mm. I don't think that... I've, the Bulldogs haven't played a better game this year or in the last two years for mm. that uh, So matter. they change the game style? And I think, well... They, they just, to a man, they played Sydney at their own game. And I think if the Bulldogs had played anyone else other than Sydney last week, the Bulldogs would have won. So that's how good they played. I think they were sensational. You've got a lot to look forward to if the Bulldogs deliver that from week to week. Is it the young players, Doug? Is it the Wallaces and the... It is. It, it is. Wallace, Wallace did a great job on yep. Kennedy. Libertore was uh, was fantastic. But, it, was but it's the, the older players, the Griffins and the Murphys and yep. these guys and the Gers, they're all still playing really good footy. So yep. I don't think any of those guys will retire at the end of the year. I hope Gia doesn't. I think he's been he's been great for them and I think they need his leadership. But yeah, well off well. the back of what they did last week, big tick to the Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. Now, Ronnie... <laughs> The back half of the Bulldogs have been going all right the last few weeks. Talia, he was fantastic on the weekend. I don't think he's playing this week. But uh, Young, he got picked up from Collingwood. Bob Murphy, I think he's playing some of the best football of his career. Yeah, I, I just think the young blokes are stepping up now and taking responsibility. So some of these young, older guys that uh, Duck was mentioned, Gia and these top coonies, they're, um, you know, they're just going with them. And uh, the young guys are taking the responsibility. I'm going to ask you the question. Are you enjoying their footy? Grant. Well, we lost by seven goals, Ron, oh, so I wasn't oh. excited. I wasn't over the moon about it. But, um, something, Grant. But, but look, as I said to Duck, I think that they're pr playing free-flowing free footy now. They're not going backwards and sideways like they did at the start of the year. And they kept turning the ball over, Duck. This was... possession footy is not the style yeah, of play that they need. You're feeling a bit now for them? You... 
my feeling. What was great? What was great about the game? And we know how how tough Sydney are, Jono. Mm. What was great about being at the game? I haven't seen so much physicality in in a, a short amount of space. Mm. It was just contest, tackle yeah. after tackle after tackle. They, they would. It was like a final, wasn't it? It, it was, it was exactly that. You you one of the best games of the year. I'll do the funny stuff. Won't. It was <laughs> one of the best games of the year. And they got a fair bit to look forward to. Well, Warwick, I just want to ask about Murphy because a lot of people are sort of having a go at him with his performances. He's not playing that free-flowing on-ball player anymore. What's he doing? No, he's playing he's on-ball to the forward flank. He's got a different role, and it looks like to me he's struggling. Mm. You didn't get was that fair or not? No, mm. I think it's. Or is, or is Ronnie's. It's a bit. It's a bit Ronnie's harsh, mate. Just, struggling. You're being a bit harsh on him, mate. He's played more games than you. He's a fair player. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you're being very harsh, mate. <laughs> you, no. Let's get some tips, Adam, Adam, please. Oh, okay. Pull on the he? Blues, Duck. Well, I saw that the, the <laughs> Carlton were very good last week against Frio, but <laughs> off the back of what I saw the Bulldogs do, I'm going to tip an upset. I'm going oh, to tip the Bulldogs. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'd have, to, uh, I'd have to agree with Duck. Uh, I don't think Carlton are playing so so good football at the moment, but uh, heard about the Doggies last week. They're second in clearances, so if they can get their hands on the uh, on the clearances the and get it inside man. their forward line, the they're in a man, chance. You? Big yeah, well, you've got to do, you've got to do okay. your research, unlike Ronnie. <laughs> right. He's up here. He has no research. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all in the head. Tip, quickly. Um, Duck's got a family member over that side, so he keeps going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. um, I'm going to go for Carlton. Okay. Yes. Warwick, your selection. Yeah, well, Duck's got the girlfriend here, so he's, Duck's excited, so he wants or to get out of here. And so is Warwick Cap. So I'm going to go uh, <laughs> agree with uh, Duck myself. Western Bulldogs, great last week. Yeah. Improving. Yeah. And, Carlton, and Carlton can't put four quarters together at this mm. stage. Okay. You're welcome. I think the Blues will win this one. <laughs> blues. Yeah, no, nah, and I'll, I'll tell you why they'll win, because they've got a final eight at stake, so they have to keep mm, winning, that's smart. why they'll win. Smart. That's right, exactly. Gilly, well, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back with more of the Margaret Footy Show with Warwick Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up to date with all the footy news from the Mangold Footy Show website. Head to mangoldfootyshow.com.au for exclusive behind-the-scenes videos and highlights, plus heaps more. And follow us online at Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Warwick, we've seen you there in a the Brisbane Bears jumper, and uh, just tell us about your time up in Brisbane. Did you like it, or did you think that was a mistake going up there? Um, I was there three years. I was on 25 Gs a week, so I went. <laughs> Joe wanted to go up there. I shouldn't have gone. I sold the Panama and bought the Ferrari. Got to Brisbane in about six hours, got 35 tickets. <laughs> Had my own clothes shop, my own penthouse. You know, rub and tug girl. So it was, it was, inter it was, inter it was interesting. It was, tough. it was a hard three years, but as soon as the first game started, I knew we were in trouble. Mm. Lost by 36 goals to be serious, won six games in three years. You won mm. the first two. Yeah, but don't say that. It's, it's always a story, mate. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to our next game, Gilly Richmond taking on Essendon. Uh, Richmond taking on Brisbane, sorry, Saturday at the MCG. And, well, only one change for the Tigers. Yeah, good to see Vickery back in the side. Out the side, Stevenson's been omitted. For the Brisbane Lions, Maloney, good to see him in there with Martin and Lester. Brown, he's out with a foot. Buick's out. Goldby's been suspended. But Brisbane Lions, they're they, uh, finishing the season well, fellas. They are. They're going very well. And uh, obviously the coach was under the pump very early on. I think when they beat Geelong, that's when the season really turned oh, around for un them. unfairly. OK, well, Duck, Richmond, you've apologised to the Richmond <laughs> Football us. Club. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. They've got a major scalp. <laughs> they, they have it's got good a... good for them because it's really good for their confidence they, and their self-belief, isn't they it? They have got a, a couple of big scalps, but mm. uh, they, uh, they are playing Brisbane. <laughs> John, I was sitting here saying, St Kilda, you're an idiot. Um, <laughs> they, I tell you what, they are playing... The MCG has become their... Uh, their fortress. They are playing very, very good footy there. In saying that, Brisbane have been very good too. So if Richmond go in there, and this Richmond mm. have been prone over the years to get ahead of themselves. Right now they're playing some really good footy. If they relax a little bit, Brisbane will get them. But in saying that, I think the Tigers will be too good. Mm. Ooh. What, my tip or okay. my question? Chris, your selection? Um, we're going selections, are we? <laughs> yeah, might oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, I think uh, Brisbane will win this week. Uh, a st another stat for you here, Grant. Richmond are the worst tackling team in the competition. The worst tackling team in the competition. Not the I think last Brisbane, three weeks, I think they Bri Yes, they are. In the competition, they're the worst tackling team. Chris. Worst tackling Chris. team. And I think Brisbane will come back 
and uh, yeah. I think they'll get a little bit ahead of themselves after beating well, Hawthorne. What about the Richmond midfield, Chris? They're, they're going all right at the moment. Yeah, they're, they're going Edwards okay. Edwards got a bit of depth. Martin. Yeah, no, they're Hutchin. going okay. They're going okay. So you but, say Richmond but, are the worst tackling team. Yes. They are. Yeah, the worst tackling team in a competition at the moment. Chris, the stats man tonight. Yes, I am. Okay, who are you going for? The Brisbane. Lions, of course. Oh. Okay, Rock and Ronnie. Oh. So, um, Richmond, um, if Richmond? they're the worst tackling side because they've got the ball, they're, not, they're chasing. So, <laughs> easy. Richmond win easy. Warwick? Can you repeat that again? Well, I'm going to just take over now as usual. And um, <laughs> I played Brisbane for three years. Um, Are you in the Hall of Fame? For... Yeah, I didn't play many games, but I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made him put me in. Um, so I, I spent a million dollars on me. Um, Selection? Uh, I think uh, Richmond by three goals. They won the last couple. And they're going to miss uh, Brownie this week, the Lions. Mm, OK. Yeah. Gilly, I'm going for the Tigers. Yeah. Tigers. Nah, look, hey, look, I'm, um, <laughs> look, don't ask me why, but I've got a funny feeling about this game, and at the MCG, that'll suit the Lions. I'm going there for an upset, the Lions, but... Oh. Can I ask you a question? No. All right. <laughs> Lions for Gill, let's go to our next game, right. shall we? Friday night at the Dock, Lance and Kilda taking on Hawthorne. <laughs> Changes for your former club, Gilly. There yeah, is good to see Blake in there with Gwalt and Nunes and Murdoch and Mitchington. Good to see him in there. Out the side. Simpkins out with a leg. Stanley out with a the shoulder. They'll miss him. Sipos. He only just got back in the side. Well, he's out with a shoulder. Sard's out with a leg. Donnell's been on minutes. So, Coach Waters, he's made a few changes and uh, he probably needed to do so too. Well, Chris, the Hawks last week, uh, in particular Ruffin, he didn't get near the footy. He didn't kick a goal in the first time for the year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but they've got so many good forwards, I wouldn't imagine they're going to be troubled too much by St Kilda. Look, I think it was just a down game for them. They didn't come to play. Uh, I think uh, Richmond jumped them uh, in a lot of areas and uh, they were quite shocked and they just couldn't recover from it. And you wouldn't think a side like this, Duck, could put in two bad performances like that. So uh, you would expect that they'll come back against the St Kilda, which are undermanned at the moment in the defence. So you don't reckon, Duck, that the Hawks' uh, brain power down there would be uh, troubled by the performance of their forwards last week? Just oh, down as a bit of a... As, uh, as John just said, I think it was a one-off. I think they had a, uh, they had a flat day. But, uh, look, don't get me wrong, St Kilda haven't done too much wrong all year. OK, they, they haven't won too many games, but they've been competitive. But the fact that uh, the Hawks got a flogging last week, uh, I, th I think they're in a little bit of trouble, the Saints. Yeah. Warwick, when you went to Brisbane Bears, you were on $300,000 a year. Your coach was on $60,000 a year. Buddy Franklin, he's That's... going to be on $2 million a year. What's the advice for Buddy? Go or stay? Go straight away, mate, especially if it's 10 mil. <laughs> clubs don't, there's no loyalty in clubs now. Go, mate, and, and mate, go up there and make a pick of yourself. He'll probably buy you a cappuccino. Get a person. <laughs> I'll buy the shop. I'll teach him how to get a personality. I'll get him out there. I'll train him up, and he should go for the money. Yeah. There's, there's no loyalty in clubs these days. Yeah, but can, you, you do your knee, it's all over. They get rid of you. Yeah, but can Buddy can Buddy become a face of a club over in Sydney because he's a pretty shy guy and he doesn't like media stuff. He needs me to train him for a year. <laughs> but I can do that. Yeah. He needs to get his shorts tighter and be a bit more media savvy. Why don't you become his manager? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> I could, for you know, 20%. I would, I'll do that. <laughs> but um, to be serious, the good thing about Buddy, he can play in a lot of spots. Mm. So he can, he can get the ball himself. He can play in the back line, he can play in the wing. We'll have to do that at GWS. So, so go, yeah, go. go. <laughs> I'd go, mate, because um, he's only got five years right. left in him anyway. Let's get selections, oh. Duck. Hawks or Saints? Uh, Isn't that easy? Hawks. Hawks. Chris. Hawks. Ronnie. Martin. Yeah. Hawks. Don't want, don't want me stack rent. Hawks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hawks, no. Hawks, 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 Hawks. Okay, Gilly. Hawks back in the wet. Thanks for asking, mate. Yes, yeah, I reckon right. my 15 goals. Yeah. Right. <laughs> A close one too, Hawthorne. Oh. Well, Warwick, wouldn't say kill the play. They never lose, mate. So, Saints for me. Oh. Oh. How about a bet? Can you bet five grand on that? <laughs> oh, five cents. <laughs> well, Warwick, we'll have to let you go, mate. Thanks for appearing on the Margaret Footy Show that I put it together for Warwick Kappa. Take a short break, folks.